For our reading this week, uh, we move out of the book of Psalms and then into the book of Proverbs. Now, as the book of Psalms ends, you're going to notice it really ends on this high note of praise. And the reason for this is because praise is really the, the main focus uh, that we're to have as we go through this book of Psalms. And so actually it starts in Psalm 146 and then it goes to 150 and again it's just praise after praise. And again, this is the main intent of this book, that we are to praise God no matter the situation of life because He loves us, uh, He comforts us, uh, He is there for us no matter the situation. Now, as we move to the book of Proverbs, uh, the guys over at the Bible Project, they do a great job of giving an overbook of the book of Proverbs. And so I don't necessarily wanna do that here in this video because so many of you watch those uh, videos. And if you don't, I really encourage you to do that. They are uh, pretty short and really a lot of great information. But I do wanna highlight a few things as we begin to read the book of Proverbs. And the first is this. What we see in the book of Proverbs is a lot of talk about wisdom and folly. Now, when we think of wisdom, I think a lot of times we think of somebody that's very smart, uh, has a high intellect, uh, you know, their IQ is really high, that, that type of thing. But that is not really what the Bible means when it speaks of wisdom. Okay, there is that aspect of having intellect and knowledge and understanding, but what the Bible means when it speaks of wisdom is actually putting that knowledge, putting that understanding into practice. Okay, this is similar to what we find in the letter of James, where James says, I want you to not only be a hearer of God's word, but also a doer. And that is wisdom. When we take that understanding, what we've heard, what we've read, and put it into practice, we are a wise person. All right, now another thing I wanna mention is how much the Lord cares for your sanctification. Now let me give a few church words, all right? Uh, we, we spend a lot of time, I think, in Christian circles of talking about salvation and being justified. And that is obviously very important. God desires to have a relationship with you. He wants you to be forgiven for your uh, sin and be with him for all eternity. And so we are justified. And what that means is we are made right with God. So our sins are forgiven. But sometimes we forget that God, uh, he doesn't just save us and then kind of leave us to, to do what we want until we get to heaven. He actually wants us to be sanctified. Now, that's a, again a churchy word. All that really means is to become more and more like Jesus, to grow in your faith, to mature in your faith. And the book of Proverbs is here to help us in that process of sanctification. The Lord, again, He wants you to be saved. He wants you to spend eternity with Him. But He also, in this life now, He wants you to have a very fulfilled life. And so we go to the book of Proverbs uh, to learn about how we can have this fulfilled life, how we can uh, live a, a life that is very wise when it comes to how God has created this world. And so what we find is very practical things when it comes to family, emotions, our words, our career, uh, how we spend our money, very day-to-day -day practical uh, parts of our life. And so as we work through that, I would just again encourage you that there's a lot of great instruction and benefit in this book that you can apply. You know, sometimes we read different things in the Bible and we're like, how does this really apply? But proverb after proverb, we go, this really can fit into my life. Okay, so the third point that I want to highlight is this, that when we read through the book of Proverbs, we need to keep in mind these are general principles, okay? So what we notice as we go through the book of Proverbs is basically it states something like, if you do this, then this will happen. And it could relate to money, it may uh, relate to how you are raising your kids. And we, again, need to remember these are general principles. It doesn't always turn out this way. We also need to keep in mind that Proverbs is wisdom literature, but so is the book of Job and Ecclesiastes. So what we found in Job is, you know, there's suffering in this world. Things don't always work out well. In the book of Ecclesiastes, what we're going to find is that uh, death is a reality. Uh, that things are, are unfair and don't make sense at time. And so again, we need to, as we read through Proverbs, keep those two books in mind. Let me give just a, a brief example. Again, Proverbs says, if you work hard, then you will prosper. But we know that sometimes, uh, as the book of Job says, there's suffering. So it could be a, a suffering of maybe an economic downturn, uh, maybe somebody has a business partner and they, and they pass away and just causes all sorts of issue in the business. What we find in Ecclesiastes is someone that works hard, it says in Ecclesiastes 2, that they have to turn it over to somebody that maybe didn't work as hard. And so we see this, maybe somebody starts a business when they're younger, and then they get older and they hand it over to a partner or maybe uh, one of their kids. 
and they just don't know if the business is going to succeed. It could go on and be great. In two years, it could all fall apart. And so again, these are general principles uh, that we need to keep in mind. Now, as we end this video, I just want to again encourage you that the Lord cares deeply about you growing in your faith. And one of the greatest books that we can grow in our faith in just the practical day-to-day -day things is this book of Proverbs. And so I would encourage you, just like in the book of Psalms, uh, to read through these, uh, but also to meditate on them, kind of chew on them. Uh, one of the guys that I like to, to follow, he's a, he's a pastor, his name is Ray Ortland uh, Jr. And he says that when it comes to the book of Proverbs, it's like eating hard candy. You know, you're supposed to just kind of kind of suck on that and get everything you can, take your time with it. And that is how we are to approach the book of Proverbs. And so one of the ways to do that as you're reading through it is just to mark some of those Proverbs that stand out to you that maybe apply to your family life, uh, work situation, and go back to that and just meditate and dwell on it. And the Lord will bless you in that.